Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another how to install video on the channel today. As many of you may well know, I am slowly starting to revisit some of my older how to install videos and bring them up to date for you guys. And today we're going to be taking a look at the highly requested Napoleonic Total War 3 how to install video, which the last version that I covered, I believe, was 8.0. And in today's video, we're going to be covering the most current one, which is 8.3 with the 8.6 patch so this will bring you right up to date with the 8.6 patch that was posted September of this year now there is one thing that we need to do before we begin with the Napoleonic Total War 3 install and that is to actually go into your library and uninstall Napoleon Total War and I know many of you are going to say Celtic that is extremely counterproductive why would you why would you uninstall the game that we need to install and TW3 on. And the reason being is because if there's one thing I've learned from doing how to install videos with Napoleon mods, it's that they really tend to conflict with each other quite often. And having a fresh Napoleon Total War install will probably save half of the comments that I get on my videos saying that there's something that's not working or I'm getting a weird error or when I click on Napoleon Total War 3, it actually loads the Great War mod and I had thought that I already had uninstalled the Great War mod, yada, yada, yada. So I highly, highly, highly recommend, it's not mandatory, but I highly recommend that you uninstall Napoleon Total War 3, and then, then when you hit delete, it'll just uh, show up as a darker gray here, and then reinstall it fresh. And before you reinstall it, sometimes what happens is, let's say you have Napoleon Total War 3, installed, but it's an older version. Or let's say you have the Great War mod, which is a good example because this has happened to me before. And I've decided that I don't want to play the Great War mod before, or anymore, and I want to go back to the vanilla Napoleon. And I uninstall Napoleon Total War from Steam and reinstall it, and then I go to click on the Napoleon icon, and I load up the game, and the main menu screen is the Great War mod. And I'm like, what is going on? Why is this happening? It's because there is a hidden folder for Napoleon uh, Total War, which keeps some files in reserve, or it keeps these files in a, in a cache, basically, and it draws upon them when you reinstall Napoleon, all of those files uh, become part of the install. So you actually need to get rid of this file, or this folder, rather. So what you need to do is go into your local C drive, and then go to Users, and then go to your PC name, and then you see this folder here that's app data. You can see that it's a lighter color than the others. Reason being is because this is actually a hidden folder. You can see if I uncheck hidden items that the app data folder doesn't, doesn't show up here anymore. So if you go into view, hit hidden items, then double click on app data, go to roaming, creative assembly. You're going to have the Napoleon folder in here somewhere. I've already deleted it because I've um, I've installed Napoleon Total War fresh for this install. But if you have a Napoleon folder in here, delete it. Uh, once you double click on Napoleon and load the game again, it will auto put a new Napoleon folder in here. But those are two little disclaimers before we do begin. But now we're on to the actual install of Napoleonic Total War 3. So we've got a fresh Napoleon Total War game waiting for us, and now we're ready to download the mod. So, we just need to go to moddb.com. That's one of the ones that is very, very useful, this platform for finding mods for Total War. Oh, and it looks like a new Rise of Mordor sub-mod was updated. I might have to cover that. But uh, let's go into the top and start typing in NTW3. Or actually, you might have to type it out. Napoleonic Total War 3. There we go. So yeah, make sure you type in the full name. And then we're going to go over to the Files tab. And if we scroll down, the ones that we're concerned of, here is the core file. So we need 8.3 core. Then we need 8.3 Steam, or themes, sorry. And then we need 8.3 maps. So these are the three core files that you need. And then we can gloss over the 8.5 patch and the 8.4 patch. We don't need those because all of the changes and bug fixes in those two patches are represented in 8.6. So these are the four files that you need. So let's go ahead and click on them. And we're going to systematically start clicking download now on all of these. As many of you know from my how to install tutorials, I highly recommend that you use Google Chrome for this. Just because Internet Explorer does tend to block these files from actually downloading. Or they may allow them to download, but they'll download incomplete. And then you'll go to install the mod and uh, 
you know, something's happening, like battle crashes, and it turns out that one of the installers was missing a lot of data. So I'm just clicking all of these here to make sure that they start downloading, and it will depend on how fast your internet is as to how fast these actually get downloaded, but uh, just take your time with it. And uh, it would be good if you actually left these open because we will reference the file sizes um, to our downloads once we come back from installing this. But there we go. So I've got all four installed here. It looks like uh, it might take about eight minutes for this to download. Uh, this will obviously change. It's not going to take three hours. Once these two finish in a couple of minutes, then this one will be better. But let's make a little cut here, guys. And then once I have all four files downloaded, and once you have all four files downloaded, then we will bring it back and start with the actual installation. All right, guys, welcome back. And as you can see, I do have all four files downloaded in their entirety here. And the good thing is, is that these are all saved as EXE files or executable files. So they actually run as installers. So you won't need WinRare or any other kind of extraction software for this install. So that's very nice. So I'm not going to close any of this. I'm just going to exit this taskbar. And I'm going to bring up my downloads here. And I just want to confirm the file sizes here so we can see here. So this is the patch. So if I look at the patch, 1.13 gigabytes. So that is very close. That looks good. So then let's head over to the maps, 966. So this is the maps, 966. So that looks good. Looking at the themes, 1.17. Themes, 1.16. So again, very, very close. That is fine. And finally, 877 or 871 for the core and 870. So very, very close as well. So that is fine. So we have all four in our entirety. So we can go ahead and close out the uh, mod DB page. And let's go ahead and start with the core files. The core one is the one that needs to be started. So we double click on that. Apologies for the neighbor's dog there in the background. I don't know if you could hear that or not. But it's going to load, ask you for English. So let's go ahead and click OK. And then it's going to think about where your Napoleon Total War is. And I don't think that this is where my Napoleon Total War is. If I actually browse, because they're going through the local C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common. You can see my Napoleon is not here. However, for most people, this is exactly the pathway that you need to have. So for most of you, if you have it saved on your local C drive and this is the correct pathway, you just have to click Next. The key thing to note is when you hit Next, it should pop up saying, Would you like to overwrite? If it doesn't say that, it's probably not installing it in the correct spot. Because you have to remember, Napoleonic Total War 3 is a mod which will be overwriting the vanilla Napoleon files. Now, you obviously can revert this on the launcher. You can play vanilla Napoleon or Napoleon Total War 3, whichever one you decide. But the key thing is, if you do not see that pop-up, it is not installing over top of Napoleon Total War 3. It's probably installing somewhere else. So as I said, if you do get that pop-up, you just have to continue. But for me, unfortunately, my local C drive is pretty small, so I have it on my G drive. So uh, Steam Games, Steam Apps, and then it's the same thing. Common, go down to Napoleon, Napoleon, where's Napoleon? There it is. And then just click on this. Now, as you can see, some people also make this mistake too. If you actually click on this Napoleon Total War folder, you can see it's actually doubled it. And that is not what you want. Again, if I go with this pathway and click OK, I will not get the pop-up asking to overwrite the files. So make sure that it only says this once. So just delete that. And uh, if we just want to head back over here just so you can see the whole pathway for me. So there we go. Hit OK. And next. And this is what you need to pop up. If you do not see this, you have not downloaded it into the correct spot. You must see this. So go ahead and click Next or Yes. And uh, you don't need to do this for 8.3 because you'll actually be launching using the 8.6 patch one. So uh, you could just not have that selected. And there we go. It is just going to install. It will take varying amounts of time here to install this. I mean, the core shouldn't take too long, but I believe the maps and themes do take a bit of time. So I'm just going to kind of try and keep this a little bit more brief for you guys and we'll just cut cut out right now and then we'll cut back when this is just about to finish installing all right so that has just finished up there so we go ahead and click finish 
And basically that is the core files installed, but we have to do this three more times. So maps or themes doesn't matter which one you do next, but these two need to be done before you do the patch. The patch is the very last one. So I'm just going to go in order here. So we're going to do the exact same process. Double click on the maps. Just wait till that pops up. There we go. And same thing, if you guys have it installed on your C drive, you guys are good to go. But I've just got to switch this around. So I'm going to go uh, G, uh, Steam Games, and then same process for you guys. Steam Apps, Common, and then see, so you just have to click on Common like that. Steam Apps, Common, Napoleon Total War. Again, make sure there's not the double folder there. Click OK and Next. Again, needs to say this. If it doesn't say this, sit, uh, hit No, and then double check your pathway. And Install. And again, this one may take a little bit of time. I mean, I think each of these only takes about a couple of minutes, but we'll just cut this out and then bring it back once it's just about done. And the maps file is just about finishing up here. I think that's one of the biggest ones, so it does take just a few seconds more than the core. Whole host of maps, too, in this game, too. Very impressive, the list of maps in Napoleonic Total War 3. Same thing with the themes, double click here, and then we just got to wait for the pop-up. And yes, again, same thing for you guys, just go ahead and click yes, but if you don't get that, uh, that pop-up that tells you you need to overwrite it, then not in the correct spot. There we go, next, there it is, yes, and install. And same thing, just wait for it to finish. And just about done there on the themes, and then we just have the 8.6 patch to do, and then we are ready to play. So finish that, double click on the 8.6 patch, and uh, this may pop up for you. I'm not sure if you can see this, but sometimes I do experience a pop-up that says Windows protected your PC. If you click uh, the drop-down menu and then click Run anyway, it will just go ahead and do it. I'm not sure why that is the only one that's flagged, but uh, if you do get that, just make sure that uh, you get that drop-down menu and then click Run anyway. And then the exact same process here. And Browse. Scroll up. Well, scroll up for me. You guys won't have to do that, probably. And the only thing different about this one is when you hit Next uh, and Yes, uh, make sure you create the desktop shortcut because you are going to need this. If you have 8.3 and 8.6, uh, it's a little just a little bit confusing, so that's why I always like to have just the 8.6 one because that's the one you're going to be launching the game from. And hit Next once again and Install. And once again, we play the waiting game. And with the 8.6 patch completely installed here, that is the last file or exe that we need, and everything is good to go. And you can see that it populated the 8.6. Um, it's the desktop shortcut there, so you can go ahead and close this and double-click on the shortcut. And it will bring up the menu here. Make sure that you set your resolution here to the correct setting. So mine's 1920 over 1080. If you wanted to play the original Napoleon Total War, you can just click Restore Vanilla here. But uh, if you want to play the Classic Battles, that is where you go in to play the multiplayer settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Classic Battles here, and then I'll have to just switch over my recording so that I can actually record us in a battle to show you that it does indeed work. However, if you do click on the Classic Battles, and you get like this little pop-up saying that like... I can't remember what it says, but it says like integrity error or uh, something's not working properly. And if you click OK, it just keeps popping up. Literally, just click it like six to ten times, and then it actually does launch Napoleonic Total War 3. And then another disclaimer, if you go into the classic battles for the very first time and you open it up and it only has the original list of vanilla factions, quit out of Napoleonic Total War 3 and then load it back up. And once you go in the second time, everything will have populated. I found that those are two things with Napoleonic Total War 3 that I noticed uh, when I was doing the installation on my own time. But let's go ahead and make a little bit of a cut here. And then once I bring it to you, well, once I bring it back to you, we'll be in Napoleonic Total War 3. 
Alright guys, welcome to Napoleonic Total War 3. You can see that it is working correctly due to the main menu being different than the Vanilla Napoleon. And we've seen this version, or this main menu before in previous versions, but I think that it just encompasses uh, all of version 8, so that includes 8.0 all the way through 8.6, which is what we are currently using. So I'm just going to jump into a quick battle to show you guys that it does indeed work, just to prove that my way of installing things does not cause any crashes in battles. However, just look at the host of maps that they have provided for Napoleonic Total War 3. Absolutely insane. We're just going to choose a random one here. And as you can see, you should have a really large list of factions. Again, if you only have like eight factions to choose from here, just quit out of the game and load it back up. And when you go back in, you should have all the factions here at your disposal. But we're just going to click a random faction here. And I think there's a way that I can just auto assign an army. I thought there was. Oh dear. Maybe there's not. Anyways, let's just pick a couple of units here just for just for uh, time's sake. And for the CPU, uh, I'll just give them a bunch of random units as well. And they can have some cav and a cannon as well. Excellent! The radar map. Now and yes, because because I had st just installed it again, it's they feel the need that I'm gonna need uh, advice as well. But there you go. You can see that everything is working fine, and Napoleonic Total War 3 is ready to go, guys. So thank you so much for watching, and I really hope that this was helpful to you all. And I know that many of you have been requesting this for quite some time, so I'm definitely glad to uh, help you out. If you do have any issues with this, please just leave a comment down below, and I can certainly try and help you out to the best of my knowledge. And if you have an idea for any other mods that you would like to see me cover, leave them down in the comments below as well. Thank you so much for watching again, guys, and please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.